Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Demetrius here again from OB Pixel, and today I'll be talking to you about the roadmap that I've taken with regards to health. So I'm not going to be talking about my technical brands or the media stuff that I cover. Today will be about health. As you may know, and if you don't already know, there's details on the screen with regards to a video I made recently, about a week ago, where I lost 50 pounds, that's around 23 kilograms, in 50 days at the age of 50. Of course, there have been a number of improvements since then. It's been seven days later. And I've spoken about those improvements in a second video that I made. And if you want to know those details, also the details at the bottom. Now, a week later, I've had so many improvements, so many changes that there's just too many to mention, even in a video. And it's always easier to rather put something that's more formal on a website. I've had so many requests, so many comments, and I want to thank you all for all this wonderful uh, inspiration that you've given me and all the wonderful comments you've told me. I've had no negative feedback, which is wonderful to see. One of the first times I've ever seen that on YouTube. And um, I'm floored, actually, absolutely floored. Bear in mind, I'm a very technical person and a very media literate person. So I love my technology videos and I love my media videos, but at the same time, I needed something that would ground me and give me the ability and the physical stamina and the capabilities and the mind clarity to be able to continue what I do and, and, and run all the, the, the different businesses that I do. So I needed to get my health and that's what I've done. So if you are stuck in your roadmap and you are working on your journey in terms of going into the carnivore diet, going into the lion diet, and you're not entirely sure what to do, where to go, how to do things, I have you covered. Now, I'm not going to be covering so much on the carnivore diet right now because that'll come at a later stage when I reach my 100 days. For now, I'm going to be covering the most extreme version of a carnivore diet, which is the lion way of eating, the lion diet. Now, I'm building a website and I'm currently halfway through it. It's going to have my entire journey. I'm going to indicate all the details that I've done in terms of all the things that I've taken on to deal with this. I'll talk to you about the kind of food that I've eaten, the types of meat cuts I've been working on, not just ribeye steaks, which are my favorite, of course. I will also be discussing uh, information about, you know, frequently asked questions that I've been getting and fielding in YouTube and everywhere else that I've been asked. And I'll also have things like coaching and group sessions and Zoom calls and all that available on the site. A lot of that will be free anyway. The majority of it will. If I do price anything, it's only because I'm trying to cover my Zoom calls in terms of the subscription. Otherwise, yeah. Now, that website, for everybody who's interested, is going to be called goodcarnivore.com. So I just thought of a wonderful name. I was feeling really good on Sunday last week. And... I thought to myself, I've got to do something. And I got onto the email and I spoke to Kerry from Homestead because he's always been my inspiration, together with Dr. Chafee and Dr. Berry. And I thought to myself, now I've got to build his website. And I was trolling through all the locations to get the right domain name. And I'd looked off the domain of the domain of the domain name. And I just wasn't happy. But I was feeling so good that day that I thought to myself, hey, it just clicked. Good carnival and i got the domain so my website will be hosted on goodcarnivore.com it's a very easy domain to remember at the moment it is live but it's been locked so i'm busy updating it so you can't really see anything but you'll see the site is there so that's going to be exciting that's going to be interesting and being a technical person i can pretty much build any websites and within seconds you know, and then afterwards I have to populate it, which takes a few days. So I'm really pleased about that because I can put my knowledge to something I'm, I enjoy once again. So not only do I enjoy technology, and I'm a technology freak, like a geek and a nerd, not only do I enjoy media and pop culture because that's what we live in, right? It's a beautiful thing. Movies, comics, films, for example, television series, um, popular culture, not really particularly interested in the music scene. I do love my music. And then of course now I've added another element to my channel. And yes, I'm not gonna concentrate specifically on niching my channel to one particular area. I don't believe that's necessary. I have one persona that can do many things. And now that I'm on the lion diet, 
I've now added a health side to my channel. So I'm going to have talks about health, communications about health. I'm going to be having uh, interviews with people at some point in time. A couple of my mates are going to come along and we're going to discuss the, the journey and let's see what we can do for them. And uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be wonderful. So once again, the website will be goodcarnivore.com. Now, let's talk about a few other changes that have happened one week later after my 50 days. So effectively now I am 60 days, almost 60 days into this. And I will talk about something that's really interesting. Now, of course, in the first 30 days that I was doing the lion diet, I was eating like a crazy maniac, three meals a day, really large steaks, all kinds of meats. And because my body was starving for carbs, really, and it was addicted to carbs. Within the 30 days, all my cravings disappeared. I was having two, two, three meals. I wasn't having exactly three meals a day in the last 20 days of those 50 days that I did. In the last seven days, the improvements have exponentially grown again, as you've seen in my second video I made. This will be my third video about this. And I had even more improvements and I lost even more weight and that was very cool. But what it did though is it also put me in a position where I now, well, at that point in time, that week and a week before that, so roughly for the last 10 days of the 50 days, I was borderline doing two and sometimes even one meal a day. Because Sunday was such a great day and I decided on goodcarnival.com, I decided to watch a couple more videos from Kerry uh, from Homestead and uh, his his colleagues that he's working with. And again, they're, they're so inspiring and so unbelievable. And if you haven't subscribed to his channel, you should really, because it's, it's, it's fantastic content. Anyway, I was inspired. So I wanted to take this further. And I watched a couple of his videos where he was communicating with some of his colleagues and he was doing fasting, but not just intermittent fasting. Now, bear in mind, I got to the 55 days and I was one meal a day. So technically I was fasting for 23 hours a day, which is pretty good for me, which is wonderful. So I don't have to think. On Monday morning, I woke up feeling again, once again, like a million dollars. And I said to myself, you know what? We're going to fast today. We're going to fast, but we're not going to do the 23 hour. We're going to do as long as I can in terms of if I can pull off a seven day fast, I'm going to try, but I'm going to do it one day at a time and then see how I feel the next day. And then I'll do it for the next day and then I'll see how I feel the next day. And if I don't feel great, I'll just drop back down to my 23 hour cycle and eat once a day. So I started my fast and the last time I ate was Sunday last week. So just before this Monday at five o'clock in the afternoon. It is now Wednesday. Okay, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So I'm now three days in and I have not eaten anything, just sitting with water. Um, I've had one little sachet of electrolytes this whole three days just to get, get my salt and my minerals and my electrolytes balanced. And I haven't eaten since Sunday, five o'clock, and I feel amazing, actually. Strangely enough, I don't have the, the inclination to want to eat. I'm not really getting hungry or pain, cramps or anything like that in my stomach. I'm not getting rumbling or anything like that. It's probably because I've still got a lot of fat to lose, which <laughs> it makes a lot of sense in my case. You know, I'm not going to, you know, I hope. People don't get embarrassed by this, but I'm just completely honest with everyone. You know, I gotta lose these man boobs, you know, these <laughs> these moobs, as we say. And of course, I've still got, you know, de uh, my, my, my stomach to sort of flatten out. So that's important anyway. I've gotta do that at some point. Now I know I can do that over the next three, 400 days, but the point is I thought I'd try this fast. And in the last sort of three days, I haven't needed to eat. I didn't want to eat. I didn't have any cravings. I thought I'd have cravings while I do this, but I don't. I will more than likely get through today as well. So that'll be four days in terms of the fasting and I feel amazing. Now, when I saw a couple of videos from Kerry and from Dr. Chafee and Dr. Berry and even Dr. Baker uh, about fasting, 
and about doing this uh, sort of longer fasts. Apparently the autophagy, which by the way, ladies and gentlemen, autophagy is a Greek word. It means autophagia. Okay, so it's basically your, your body getting into the stage where it's going to eat up the resources that it has inside the body, in this case the fat, and it burns the fat immediately so that you don't have to worry about, you know, any toxins. But at the same time, it throws the toxins, even more toxins out your body. That's what autophagia means. It's, it's a Greek word. So autophagy is what's going on in the last three days in my body. Yes, I've, I've dropped in the last three days a uh, kilo and a half. So that's uh, roughly three or four pounds, somewhere around there. Um, but that's not the key. The key is that I am fully hydrated every day. I'm on four liters a day, which is fine. I don't feel hungry. I feel great. But at the same time, when I did watch Kerry's videos, he did mention that autophagy also helps with skin and tightening up the skin and so on. And I noticed that today with my skin and my face. It is better. It's more elastic as well. I feel better. And uh, I, I noticed that it's a little tighter, which is pretty cool as well. So hopefully that'll also tighten around my body. So that'll be nice. So that's what I wanted to tell you. This is the major update that I'm on a Let's see, can I do a seven-day diet uh, in terms of a fast? I mean, can I fast for seven days? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping I can, but if I don't make the, the, the seven days, maybe I'll make another day. Maybe I'll make it till tomorrow. I know Kerry mentioned in his videos as well that he was feeling tired and lethargic a few times here and there when he did these fasts. I don't. So maybe because my body's got a lot of fat already on it, and it's quite happy to burn that fat so that's pretty cool it's not running out of fat if i do feel lethargic or tired or whatever i will take my minerals and my salt basically the electrolytes with the water i mean just to keep that going but i'll see how it goes so let's see what happens in the next uh <laughs> three or four days i'm gonna spend it building the website finishing things off i've got loads of energy i've revamped the entire office over here and I just decided to go back to what I really love and yeah I love comics and I love superheroes yes at the age of 50 I don't care what people say I honestly don't comics right that kind of stuff taught me how to speak and write English and I've got a number of videos in the past from this and today I'm a writer I'm an author I've written hundreds of courses for companies. I've written loads of manuscripts for companies and other people. And I've also written my own six kids books and one um, uh, short novel series, as in like I've published them. I've already written another 900 stories. So uh, I need to sort of rehash them, put them together because I've done that since the age of 13. So I learned how to speak English and write English using comics when I was a kid. So of course I'm going to put it on my wall. Absolutely. And why not? I've got the energy and I want to do it. So I moved the entire office around and I'm much happier. So anyway, these are the things that have happened. I digress, sorry. So I wanted to let you know. So let's summarize. I'm improving even further, which I'm feeling amazing about. I decided to build a website. It's going to be called goodcarnivore.com. It's going to be a brilliant little simple website, nothing fancy, but it's going to have everything you need as a resource to become a carnivore or hopefully in the beginning to get yourself going and boost your body and sort of um, uh, jumpstart your body, the lion diet, which is what I've done. And I've also begun a number of days fast. I'm not entirely sure how many days I can do this. I think I'm going to try until maybe, f maybe five days in total. So I started on Sunday. I'll probably go, you know, the Sunday, the Monday, basically the Tuesday, the Wednesday. Maybe I'll get to Friday. It'll be nice if I can get to Friday. If, if I can and I can go further, I will, but I'll let you know. But for now, I'm on intermittent fasting. I haven't eaten anything. Don't feel like it. I have my water. And it's now mm, quarter to three in the afternoon, and I've had three of these already. And these are roughly about 750 milliliters. So, yeah, it's not too bad. So, there's my update for everybody. Thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Those of you who've uh, already subscribed, thank you, and you'll be getting notifications of the new videos. Those of you who will be subscribing, you'll see all the new videos coming out. And, and they won't just be about health. They're going to be about media. They're going to be about technology, of course. 
Because here's the best part. I've always been someone who's been able to do loads of things at the same time, right? And people think, oh gosh, you know, how are you doing that? Are you multitasking? Actually, I'm not multitasking. I'm monotasking. And there'll be another video for that coming up. That'll be my next video on how to focus your mind, monotask on things, and actually get things done rather than multitasking and getting nothing done during the day. I will put together a video. I'll show you my techniques that I've been harnessing and zoning into for the last 30 years and what works for me and why I'm able to run five different businesses now. How's that possible? Well, now that I have my health and I'm getting better and better, this is going to get even more intense. It's going to get even more impressive. I'll have even more capability to do even more things, which is there's so many things I want to try in the world. So that's where we are at the moment. So if you're going to be subscribing to my channel, that's the kind of content you're going to get. Otherwise, thank you, everyone. I appreciate your time and I'm signing out.